Hi you guys, welcome back to Sharnesia J and today we're making a t-shirt. So stay tuned if you're interested. So what we're going to need for this project is a t-shirt, a cutting mat like this one, some type of weeding tool like an exacto knife is what I'll use, some iron-on vinyl, I'm using the sizer everyday iron-on as well as a ruler. To go ahead and get started, you can open up the Cricut Design Space and head to your projects. And if you already have the file that you want to make the t-shirt with, whatever graphic you want to make the t-shirt with, you can go to My Projects and scroll to that graphic that you would like to use. Today I'm using the She Is Strong graphic that I created. It's kind of inspired by another t-shirt I saw online. So we're just gonna be customizing the graphic that I made by hand in the Cricut design space myself. How I made it was like some of the letters didn't connect like how I wanted them to. So I just had to connect them by shrinking or elongating the size of the letters. So if you have trouble with creating this from the fonts in Cricut Design Space, that's what I did. Now what I'm doing is seeing that I have different sizes of this design in the Design Space already. So we're gonna customize it by clicking on one of the, on one of the graphics. So the size t-shirt that we're working with today is a size extra large so i'm going ahead and clicking on the graphic that i want to use and changing it to size 10 width because that's the size of the graphic that we need for an extra large t-shirt according to the size chart that i use when i'm making t-shirts so we go ahead and press make it after we hide the other two and now you can click mirror do not forget to click mirror or it will come out backwards and then click continue when your Cricut maker connects to your laptop or whatever you're using click on everyday iron on because that's the medium we're using today now we're preparing the iron-on vinyl to place it onto the mat. After you get the vinyl on the mat where you would like it, then smooth it all down so there will be no bubbles so that the Cricut maker will cut um, and it won't cut on top of the bubbles. Oops, I realized I only needed about a little over six inches worth of the vinyl. So we're going ahead and cutting that down here. Okay, now it's time to put the vinyl into the Cricut Maker. And once we get it in there, we can just click go on the, on the Maker. And then I chose fast mode because I don't know about y'all, I don't have all day to wait. So now we're cutting. Well, preparing, detecting. And now we're cutting.
Okay, so now that we have our artwork or our letters cut out, we're gonna go ahead and take the tool that you are gonna be weaving your vinyl with. I'm just gonna take it and get it all started and get all the excess vinyl that we're not gonna use. Get rid of it. And we're gonna get rid of all of the excess vinyl that we're not gonna use. I couldn't find my tool, so I'm using an X-Acto knife. Once you get rid of all of the excess vinyl, now we can start getting rid of the excess vinyl that's within the letters. Next, we're gonna do the little letters, which are here. Now, this is what it looks like. Of course, it's backwards because we had to mirror the letters. So, next. Next, what you want to do is make sure to turn on your heat press so that you can iron your shirt. I like to go ahead and iron out the shirt, especially in the area that I'm going to be placing my graphic because you don't want you just don't want it to be wrinkled whenever you're trying to place a graphic on top of wrinkled clothing, then it just doesn't turn out right. And also for the customer, you wanna like present nice work. While that was our heat press saying that it's ready. We're gonna put the heat pressing pad up here because we don't wanna burn my table. So here's the heat press. On our chart that I use, on the chart that I use to know how far down from the neckline do we put the graphic, it says we do it three to three and a half, three and a half inches. So since it's a larger shirt, it's an extra large, we're gonna go ahead and put it three and a half inches below the neckline. So let's go ahead and measure that gonna go straight from the middle so one one two three and a half is where the graphic should start right about there I usually would do this on an ironing board but today we're just gonna do it on my press pad Okay, so that's a little bit too high up. The H is the highest thing it looks like, so. And that's not centered. Okay. 
I'm, I'm using the the heating pad the heat press pad as a guide for how far off we are from center so it's about this much on that side and that's about the same on the other side so let's make sure it's just straight as straight as we can get it and I think that's perfect so let's double check and make sure this is three and a half inches down because we don't want customers saying oh my gosh it was like so awkward the way she put it on okay so it's it's in the vicinity of three and a half inches it's a little bit closer to three and a quarter inches down from the neckline and I think that's fine because it said three to three and a half inches below the neckline so let's go ahead and put it in stone by going ahead and pressing this on like so. So I put my press, my heat press here and we're gonna press this go button so it'll count down 30 seconds. And it looks like it's not getting the whole cross in there so we're gonna move it over a little and then we'll heat press again to get the entire thing. And the instructions, a lot of times I've read instructions that say to heat press on the front twice, I think, and then one time on the back for maybe like 15 seconds or something like that. I don't know if I really read that or not, or if it's in my imagination, but that's how long I press mine because I don't want anything coming off and then people telling me, oh my gosh, my shirt didn't stay. I made some like this for Christmas for my family members and they've washed it multiple times and they haven't had any problems with the lettering coming off. So I think that doing it in that way has really been the best way. 30 seconds twice. I'm doing it four times on the front because we're trying to get like the whole thing in there. But I usually heat press two times on the front, one time on the back. And then we're gonna turn the shirt over to press on the opposite side. This is what our shirt is looking like and we're just gonna let this sit and let it cool off and then we'll be able to take the strip off to make sure everything stayed in place hopefully it did i think we did a good job um and i really hope that the person who's buying this shirt really likes it okay so it's time to take it off i think it's it's pretty cool now and So this is what the shirt ended up looking like. Okay, and now I want to style it and show you guys a better look. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks for watching.